Oh, thank you, Fernie. Get my little mouse over here. All right. Meeting is called to order. We have quorum. We have uh, three people of our four uh, XCOM members. Uh, thank you for coming to this Lincoln Heights Neighborhood Council Executive Committee meeting. Today is August 15th, 2021. It is 6.09 p.m. Um, Secretary Sanchez, could you please do roll call? I'll now take roll. Sarah Clendenning. Present. Ben Wadsworth. Present. Fernanda Sanchez here. Vincent Montalvo, absent. And that concludes roll call. Thank you very much. And with that, we will open it up to non-agenda public comments. And uh, anybody from the public, if you wanna comment, please, please press star nine or raise your little hand. Do you have any public comments? See, so, oh, we have a hand. One hand raised. BT Williams. 20. All right. Hello. Hello. Hi, BT Williams. Hi. Hi. Uh, this is Dr. Tom Williams from LA 32 Neighborhood Council. Oh. And I'm quite concerned about a project that we've been tracking over on Avenue 34 along Pasadena. Uh, the Department of Toxic Substance Control has been screwing around with it for eh, the last couple of years. And there's a high potential for contamination of areas east of Pasadena Avenue. So we're quite concerned about that. And I think it should be a subject of your uh, planning or some public safety committee. That's all. All right, thank you, CT. Um, any any other public comments? No. Okay, so no more. Um, so we're going to go to community and board announcements. Any uh, any community announcements? Please raise your hand. Oh, does CT have another community announcement? CT, do you have a community announcement? at all? I think it was just the one. Okay, so so no more public comments or no more public announcements. No more hands raised. Any board member announcements? No, this time. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to item number five, executive committee discussion. Setting of agenda for a general board meeting, Thursday, August 19th, 2021, 6 to 9 p.m. That's this Thursday. All right, so here we go. Committee announcements, we'll open with committee announcements. And then we'll start with funding agenda items. A, discussion and possible motion to approve the June and July 2021 MERs. Those are uh, monthly expenditure reports. Um, B, discussion and possible action on 2021-2022 Lincoln Heights Neighborhood Council Fiscal Year Administrative Administration Packet, aka the budget. Uh, C, discussion and possible action on funding for translation services. Services will be done by Apple One or if not available, another approved vendor from the city of Los Angeles. So this comes out of the city fund. There's a $50,000 city fund for translation. Um, I don't know, I don't think I have to add that. Uh, D, discussion and possible action on funding up to $1,500 for official City of LA business cards for all LHNC board members. Vendor, City of LA uh, printing services division. And so we've received a quote for these, yeah. Um, and those will be, you know, we're gonna have supplemental documents all on the website for the agenda. <clears throat> e, discussion and possible action on funding up to $500 for general meeting minute taker. Services will be done by Apple One or if not available, another vendor approved by the city of Los Angeles. Uh, F, discussion and possible action on funding for Lincoln Heights Neighborhood Council PO Box at Lincoln Heights Post Office. So we have two quotes here, uh, $246 a year for a small one or $422 a year for a large one. 
Uh, G, discussion and possible action on funding request from Richard Larson in the amount of $1,000 for uh, the Congress of Neighborhood Councils September 29th, 2021 online event. All right. So then we move on. Page two, uh, new agenda items. A, vacant seats. Announcement of resignation of Armida Marufo and William Rodriguez Morrison. Announcement of open LHNC positions as of August 15th, 2021. We have four positions, business rep, community-based organization rep, area four resident rep, and area seven resident rep. Um, I guess we could discuss all these later, right? So I'm gonna keep going through. B, uh, discussion and possible action on appointment of Fernanda Sanchez to planning and land use committee. C, discussion and possible action on letter to CD1 and community impact statement regarding council file 210709, William Mead Homes demolition grant. Cedillo, presentation by William Mead residents. Okay, uh, D, discussion and possible action on letter to LA City Planning and Community Impact Statement regarding Council File 210690, El Recreo Room, 506 West Adam 28, Alcohol Sales. Presentation. This is the intent to transfer an existing alcohol license. Um, e, discussion and possible action on letter to CD14 and Community Impact Statement regarding Council File 20-1259. Lincoln Heights Neighborhood Council slash San Antonio Winery slash non-event street banner program. These banners were hung without LHNC board approval. Um, I have to change one thing on there. It's the council file is actually 1529. So I'm just gonna write that there, 1529. All right, F, discussion and possible action on letter to CD1 and community impact statement regarding council file 130933 arts development fee ADF update. This is uh, CD1 allocating $37,000 of CD1 arts development funding. $26,000 of it is from the Lincoln Heights fireworks event and Northeast car show. It's being uh, reallocated to fund uh, the 2022 Gil Cedillo Latin Jazz Festival. Um, G, discussion and possible action on letter and community impact statement regarding council file 210576. El Pueblo de Los Angeles Historical Monument, 1871 Anti-Chinese Massacre slash Memorial. The 1871 Anti-Chinese Massacre and the violent murder of 19 innocent lives continues to serve as a painful reminder of the history of racially motivated hate crimes and the unjust targeting of Asian Americans. Proposal for monument in the El Pueblo, like La Placita uh, Chinatown area thing. Now, I might have to change this because, well, anyway, that is not the original loca location where the massacre was. So they're trying to propose it for, and not, not the location. The location was where Union Station is. So um, in any case, um, and those are all our items. So uh, any board member discussion on these items? So since like we're changing the name on item F, can we still motion to approve this agenda? Oh, changing the name, what do you mean? Because you said you had to change like the name for item F. Like oh, I, cha I changed item E. It's just the council file. I had put the numbers backwards. It's 201529. So we can like edit these just, you know, logistically. Um, you know, we have the choice to omit items. Yeah. too because there are a lot of um, community impact statements on here um we have a lot of funding items as well yeah uh, i think the agenda is full of really important things i think so i think so too i think these are really important social justice items ben do you have any comments on the agenda nope Main main one is the is the getting the budget passed. Yeah, so the main one, yeah, that's that budget. So right. number Doodaloo. Yep, there it is. Item B, funding item B. Do we motion to approve the agenda? Does anybody want a motion? To approve it? I'll motion to approve the agenda. Any motions? 
Anybody second? I'll second. Okay. Bernie, Ben, second. And actually, we have to take, uh, let's take the public comments too, right? Any uh, public comments about this agenda? We have Williams's hand raised, um, but his hand has not come down since earlier comments, so I'm not sure if. Um... C.T. Williams from LA32, did you have a, any comment on this? Hello. Hi. Okay. Hey. Hello, Ian. Hi. Uh, if you're going to approve the whole thing as one loan, uh, fine. I thought you might be approving it by individual items. So as long as you're going to approve the whole thing, great. I'll be at the board meeting. Okay, thank you for uh, coming to the meeting tonight. Thank you. Thank you. All right, any more public comments about the agenda? Hmm? No? We have no more hands raised. So uh, anybody uh, come to adjourn? A motion to adjourn. I second. All right. On that note, motion carries and this meeting is uh, adjourned. Thank you everyone for coming out tonight and we'll see you on Thursday, August 19th at 6 p.m. for our big uh, general board and stakeholder meeting. Thank, Thank you everyone. For... All right. Bye.